um, yeah, I'm calling because I would love to start um, sailing lessons with you. I have zero experience, <laughs> um, but I would love to start. And my partner would also love to, he does have experience, but he would love to do uh, maybe the level two course later on when I'm done with one. All right, have a good night and see you soon. Thank you, see ya, bye. Bye. Yay. You got yourself some sailing lessons. I do. <laughs> We are Steven and Simone. We've been traveling a lot for the past 10 years, but now it's time to change our course and travel more responsibly. We are preparing ourselves for our biggest challenge yet, traveling back from New Zealand to the Netherlands without flying. Together, we will find our way home. Subscribe and follow us on our adventure. Okay. Time that better. Okay. Three, two, one. Check. That's it. Hello, guys. Hello, and welcome <laughs> to another episode of Stephen and Simone, aka the couple in Row 51. 51. Yes, that's <laughs> us. So we want to give you guys another uh, weekly update. We have been all over the place. <laughs> all over the place, as we can see. <laughs> yeah, we we worked a lot. 45 hours this week on the Apple Watch. It was actually uh, not too bad. We yeah. didn't know what to expect, but um, it was uh, the work. The work was not too too hard. We got to spend a lot of time outside, which was nice. The weather was perfect. Um, hopefully, we didn't get too much sunburn. But <laughs> we definitely used a lot of sunscreen because we were in the sun for about 10 hours a day, nine hours a day. Yeah. Um, but it was not bad. No. I actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. So the first day we came there, uh, it was on a Saturday. Um, the owner said, why, why don't you come on a Saturday so we can explain you how things work here and how the work is done. And well, we, <laughs> we didn't have to come there on Saturday because they explained the work in maybe five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> it was that simple. We literally have to pick apples from a bunch yeah. to make them thinner. That's why they call the job. <laughs> so because normally when an apple tree grows, um, there's a lot of apples on one branch or one bunch and it usually gets a bit too heavy. Yep. And then all the apples will drop. So that's of course not very good for an apple business. You have to leave some on. So what we usually did this week was just go to um, a row filled with apples mm -hmm. and then just tree by tree pick the apples pick that the were apples. Uh, too much on a branch yeah. and then just leave two hanging. Yeah. The thinning job. So we listened to, I would say, many podcasts. 20 hours of podcasts, probably <laughs> done, which is very 70 nice. 70 albums of music. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're all uh, up in that game again. <laughs> Definitely. In the coming week, we'll have, I guess, as we are filming this right now, we're going back um, and we'll do another work yeah. week there. So we, yeah, we go back tonight uh, for another week and then we're finished. So, yeah, that's Getting good. There. Getting there. <laughs> <laughs> but the nice thing about the apple farm, I guess, was that we met a lot of awesome people. Absolutely. Uh, there's yeah. backpackers from all over the world. Mm. There's cool people from, from Germany, from France, from South Africa, you name it. Yeah. All over the place. And we really enjoyed that. It sort yeah. of felt like we're back in our backpacking lifestyle. Yeah. So you saw the, the we showed you guys the, the truck we were sleeping in. Yeah. So we had uh, one extra roommate. He was actually a very interesting guy. He is a very interesting, mm -hmm. interesting guy. Uh, he's from France and he uh, was there with a bike. Um, and he said he's been biking all over the world. He actually biked over 28,000 kilometers from uh, Argentina all the way up to Alaska. So. We are very excited to talk to him about his experience and Definitely. what he took on his trip and how he did it really to learn from him so we can yeah. do the same. Well, okay, not, not 28,000 <laughs> kilometers, but um, just a small bit um, yeah. and learn from his experience. We're actually going to interview him for a little yeah. bit because we want to use it in our uh, video material mm -hmm. just to talk to inspiring people who travel in a different way and I guess like cycling all over the world is a different way. So another thing, uh, we bought a drone. Yes. You might have seen the pictures or videos actually on our Instagram account, um, which is very exciting. We uh, spent the last two days um, trying to <laughs> learn to fly really. Um, yep. <laughs> which, is a, which is a very interesting thing because we set ourselves a goal not to fly again 
so we bought a little machine that can fly for us so exactly. we can still see how the world is from up there <laughs> and it, we must say it, it, it was amazing we yeah. never thought that that would be so much fun um, we're Ooh. used to you know photography videography from the ground like eye, eye level you yeah. know, maybe higher up but you never get the On perspective the from the top <laughs> And we use the drone, and it just get you. Uh, it opens up a complete different world to you. It's insane. You just get these views. Yeah. And we were just we fell in love with it right away. And you're gonna you're gonna see so much more of that. Um, we'll probably no, we probably we will use some of the shots in this video. Um, so excited to, to hear what you think about that, and maybe if you have some tips of, uh, uh, about drones flying, flying drones, <laughs> please <laughs> let us know, and we're more than happy to try that. Awesome. Let's give it a little huh. spin. Dad and his child out for a first stroll. Oh, baby is up in the air. It makes a hell of a lot of noise. This is really funny. Dad's happy too? I am happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Hi, hello. I just want to give you a small recap on our first flying it experience. It was awesome! It was pretty amazing. <laughs> um, very scary too, actually. <laughs> so I started flying the drone and I was, I was going to fly it like over the cliffs here, around here in the Banks Peninsula. And then sort of over the water, but it had 20 percent i thought it was gonna be enough to fly for at least like i don't know five or ten minutes but because you're filming and you're flying and it's like cinematic shots it mm. takes up a lot of battery so it was clearly when i was above the water it was telling me return home otherwise it's gonna yeah fly back promptly <laughs> no it's just like otherwise it's gonna land so it's gonna land in the water and then you're like done so i was like oh get it home <laughs> and i luckily got it here on time yeah we so. got it in time but I'm sure we got some pretty epic shots we and uh, we still have our little friend. Survived our first date. It was awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Good day, y'all. Hello. Okay, that's my farmer's accent. <laughs> Not sure why I, why I tried to do that, but hello. Welcome, everybody. Hello. <laughs> we are on our way to... My first sailing class. Oh, yes, Or yes, not yes. sailing class, sailing competition. But also my first time sailing. Yeah, it's it's it will probably be a bit of, bit of both. You'll be experiencing sailing for the first time. Yeah. And what better to learn it than in a competition, right? Definitely. So we're heading to um, Littleton, the harbor, where, we're also, where I'm also starting my classes this week. Yeah. And, um, and they do Wednesday nights like sailing opportunities for us. Yeah. 
which yeah. is great. Just we're stuck in traffic, so we're gonna <laughs> try to rush there. <laughs> why it's uh, so busy here. We we should make it in time, but um, we should. Yeah, even in New Zealand, there's traffic. Traffic, can you believe that? But yeah, we're very excited, and um, we are not sure what our role will be on this uh, sailing in this sailing competition, but we'll see. Yeah. It's Definitely. exciting, the weather is nice, the spirits yeah. are high, <laughs> and uh, yeah. we're looking forward. of the sailing Ooh, <laughs> I loved it I really did I was anxious at first I think uh, especially because it was a competition it was not just a normal sailing class uh -huh. I got to do a competition before I'm gonna do a uh, first sailing class which is a bit of a funny start but why not <laughs> um, yeah we got to the harbor there was all these super awesome people to start off with that like the crew is amazing that really made me feel like you know like I was like a welcome but also B it was everything was good and safe and everyone knew what they were doing so yeah cheer for the people they were really great um, and we went out on the water and it was super windy and because you're doing a competition Steven said it's not like normal sailing where you sort of just cruise a bit more yeah, here we were going active. tag all the time over stuff so we were going tag the whole time and like doing all these crazy moves just to get speed but yeah, I loved it. I love the freedom, like the feeling it gives you when you're out on the water. Right. Just sitting there in the sun, and yeah. I mean, we didn't even we didn't even see any dolphins, but they said there's like normally a ton of dolphins there, sometimes even whales. Oh like, yeah. Can you imagine that? That's just extra extra cool. Yeah. Um, I loved it. I did, and I'm really really excited to get started now. And also, yeah, just loved it. Woo! Positive. Thumbs up. Double. I'm just uh, browsing the internet. To see if we can, <laughs> if we can find a boat to take us out of New Zealand. Actually, oh. there's um, there's two websites I'm looking at right now. It's uh, Find a Crew and Crew Seekers, of which oh. Find a Crew I think is the biggest one in the world. Um, it's basically just two websites. They match boat owners and skippers with crew. So for us, it's the perfect way to um, to find people with boats, boat owners, and people sailing the Pacific. Yeah, there's heaps of heaps of people here. There's um, at this moment there's 416 boat owners online and 945 crew. So I think we have a good option to find a boat uh, taking us either to Fiji or Tonga uh, through this network. So what you see here is just the main uh, the home <laughs> the home page of, uh, of Find a Crew. So we are actually looking for a boat out of here. Auckland, because Auckland, uh, we have been told, is the best place to leave New Zealand because there's the most boats per capita. So here you see all the different boat owners, um, where they're from, where they're sailing to, what kind of yacht they have. Um, sometimes they have just a very normal 
uh, small little boats, maybe a keel boat from a 30 foot. Well, this is this is an interesting ship. Look at that. It's like a little pirate ship. But others, they are sailing this massive, massive yacht. Just if you can see that, that will be amazing to join them. <laughs> Um, to, to sail across the Pacific or anywhere really. So we are just uh, browsing this website regularly to find people that would take us uh, onto our next adventure. So if you're thinking about doing this yourself, we'll link the information you need below this video. Yay. Make sure to follow and subscribe.